Greetings. Um, are you bored? Not busy? Not know what to do today? I'm guessing not. If you're like me, your to-do list is endless. As entrepreneurs, we should never be short of things to do. We are more likely to complain about not having enough hours in the day rather than being bored. However, there's a very real danger in your business that your infinite task list, rather than being a facilitator, is really holding back your progress because you are busy just doing stuff, not the juicy bits that will make your business thrive and grow. I am really, really bad at this and I do far too much stuff, but I'm hoping you will share me with my journey in curing my addiction to my infinite task list. Because whether you call it task list, to-do list, planes to land, I know it will hold me back if I let it. Because although this stuff really needs doing, I know it ain't the best use to my time. And time, well, that's the one thing I don't have a lot of. Um, there's lots of other stuff I want to be doing, not this infinite task list. And this isn't time management, it's more like time mastery. So here's my suggestions for making sure your infinite task list is A, relevant, B, what you personally should be doing, C, in control, because mine ain't, um, and D, maybe a bit more finite and achievable. Firstly, do you personally have to do this? It's a big question. If the answer is no, don't do it. No, I didn't say, do you want to do this? Because often when we grow our businesses, we move away from doing the things we really love doing. For example, I love marketing my business. It's one of my favorite things, but I am increasingly delegating it because even though I love doing it, I have bigger fish to fry. So ask yourself, do you personally have to do that item on your to-do list or can someone else do it, albeit differently, but just as well? If the answer is yes, cross it off your to-do list and stick it on theirs. Other items on your to-do list that are not that important when you really drill into it, like nice to do rather than mission critical. I increasingly have to be ruthless with this. So networking, coffee, lunch, Facebook updates, these activities waste hours. And I love doing all of that, but my time is so precious, I simply can't do these things anymore. Beware of nice to do, but not important. Really essential distinction to make. And then finally, what activity is going to produce the best return of investment on your time? If you have to choose between activities such as faffing about with your website that might take a couple of hours or using those hours on the phone to prospect, what would have the fastest and best ROI? Same time frame, time frame even, exponentially different results. Um, so in our marketing department, which is me and Ali, um, we go through all the ideas and concepts we have to do and literally go, where do they fit into the business plan? Are they nice to do or are they mission critical? And prioritize them accordingly. So like um, this week we had an award application to do via um, versus direct marketing 100 franchise potentials. The direct marketing will win every time. Ideally both, but if we are up against it, we choose the one that is gonna bear the most fruit. And a lot of you will say, well, it's okay, Kate, you've got a big company, you've got lots of people to delegate it to. I do not. I have a company that turns over a lot and has a lot of sites, but we run the whole HQ shebang with a team of only 12 people. We run a really lean profit model, so we can't afford to employ lots of labor. So we have to be very, very smart with our time. In summary, it's just three easy points. Do you have to do this? Is the item nice to do or mission critical? And what offers you the best return of investment on your time to be applied to everything on your to-do list to get it under control? And then you have to realize maybe one thing, the infinite task list is infinite. Seriously, all the time you have a business, you will have an infinite task list, but don't feel pressurized, feel grateful. To get up every day with purpose is a privilege. To get up with a purpose and to be 100% in receipt of the rewards of your purpose is a privilege very few get to have. So relish your task list, enjoy the satisfaction of ticking off your to-dos and have a great week.